Brandon Miller, veterinarian. Dr. Joe is here to answer your pet questions this morning, and he brought these two little cuties. This one's Athena. Hi. She likes giving kisses, and this one is Hercules? Hercules, yeah. Hercules. He's, he's the shy one of the two, actually, believe it or not. Oh, he's, my. He's look at these her, faces. So. They're good little pups. They were, they were bottle fed. I, you know, shout out to my staff who took them over. And, oh, um, my goodness. Uh, uh, Chandra did these two or whatever, but but they're real good. They've been weaned for a couple of weeks. I think they got another week and they're going to go, but they're taking applications. Several of them actually do have homes. But, yeah, you said um, there's a few of them. So few of them. So they kind of got spread out, and uh, but it's been a lot of, a lot of fun for them. Even though it's a lot of work, you you know get up every two to four hours for a while, and of course that you know kind of goes out. But they're eating regular food now and everything. But they've been handled so much. They're just like this. They're, they're real so, good, so cute. See, oh we're my goodness. How to play this week, so we're we're we're, we're doing good that way. And I like like their little eyebrows. It really is. It's kind of <laughs> neat. We're not sure exactly. Um, mostly we can kind of see healer in them. Yeah. I, I believe the mother was a healer. Hi, baby. Uh, but anyway, oh my so, goodness. But, but they are up for adoption. They're through uh, Pet Adoption League. Um, you can contact our clinic or I, they put the number on at the end. So. Yeah, we'll show you. Well, our first question is Richard says, my German Shepherd was diagnosed with hip dysplasia. What can I do to make him comfortable? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, but I tell a lot of my clients that hip dysplasia is not a death sentence, okay? There's varying degrees of the disease and varying degrees of the arthritis and the pain that happens. So, but the cornerstone of any of this, whether it's the elbows or the hips or the knees or whatever is, is kind of glucose. I mean, I'll tell people, especially if it's a young dog, you start that early and you keep that up. There's an injectable form called Adequan for some that are more severe, and we've had really good luck. I, it will progress and it will happen, but but really kind of do that. The other deal that some people think are kind of counterintuitive is actually controlled exercise. Not let them run as fast as they can all over the place, but good controlled kind of walks and exercise. Um, but really, you're going to get together with veterinarian and you're going to kind of figure out, you know, do we need other things, PRP, stem cell, or, or what we need to do. So. All right, well, Gentry says a couple weeks ago she noticed a raised growth behind her kitty's ear. Should she have it looked at? Yeah, generally speaking, any growth that does not go away within a couple weeks or it's red, it's raised, it's hairless, it's painful, it's like angry looking or something, probably should be looked at, okay? There are a lot of benign growths that they get. Their skin's kind of thicker than ours. They get little warts and other deals. Um, so I tell people, don't be alarmed, but definitely if it's kind of there and especially if it's bothering them or if it seems to be kind of growing, it should be looked at and then kind of taken care of from there, so. All right, well, our last question is, my neighbor's daughter was diagnosed with a staph infection. Could she infect my dog? Yeah, staph is a common inhabitant of, of, of everybody's skin, uh, dog skin, people skin. Um, so, you know, if your boss chair was diagnosed with a staph, it may be difficult to say where it originated. Um, yeah, you know, there was one study that found that we were actually giving them He's more squeaking. MRSA than they were giving us. So possibly, you know, but they definitely can do a culture of sensitivity, figure out what it is and what antibiotic it responds to and clear up. And if there's any secondary stuff like allergies. So, but, but good luck with that. So Boston's are cute dogs. They are really it's cute just, dogs. So are these are cute little dogs. <laughs> they are cute. Yes, they're very cute. Well, if you have a question for Dr. Joe about your pets, you can post it on our Facebook page, KJRH TV. Or if you are interested in adopting Hercules and Athena, you can call the Pet Adoption League at the... See, he's calling for you. Just come get him <laughs> on this your screen right there. And if you would like to learn more about the Heritage Veterinary Hospital or see other pets who need good homes, you can go to our website, kjrh.com. We'll